Hey John, welcome to Drum Circle Distilling, we make CST Key Rum. Thanks for having me here today, it's very nice. Yeah, we're happy to have you here. I'm going to show you today how we make, uh, make our rums and let you try a couple of samples too. Awesome, I've got some customers asking where it's coming from. So John, this is where the rum production process starts. This is our mash tank and all of our Florida grown molasses gets poured into this tank. Uh, I did learn the hard way to make sure I shut my valves before I pour the molasses into the tank. Probably just have to learn that lesson once, right? Absolutely, <laughs> one time. And, and the purpose of this tank is that uh, it clarifies the molasses, any solids, any ash that are in there, drop down to the bottom and we can pull that off and we end up with a cleaner molasses which makes for a uh, better tasting rum. So that's where it starts and then after we've clarified the molasses, we move over to our fermentation tanks. And the fermentation tanks are where the rum is made. This is where the flavor is made. And what we do is we put the molasses in there, we add a little bit of water to it, then we add our special yeast to it. And the yeast turns the sugar that's in there into rum. So the trick is how do you separate the rum from everything else? The answer is the still. The way the still works is pretty simple. We put the fermented molasses into the uh, still, mm -hmm. we heat it up, and what happens is the alcohol vapors rise up through the system, they get cleaned up, get cooled back down into a liquid form, and what you have coming out here is wonderful 180 proof Ooh. straight rum. That might be a bit strong, huh? <laughs> Ooh, but it has a nice smell to it. Wow. <laughs> It's like on fire. So John, now that we've made the rum and we've put it into bottles, we're going to label it and get it ready to ship out to the stores. And it's a real simple process. We put the labels on on our machine one at a time. We hand number every single bottle with the batch and we put our shrink to finish off the top and put it into boxes. So it's right up against that edge yep. there. And put your finger to hold down the... Hold down buttons. there. Step on the, the pedal and you're good to go. Uh, let go of the pedal though. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so we've got a double wrap. Yes, That's, yes. So would this be batch 82 instead of 41 since there's so. two of them? It'll All right. Perfect for rum cake now. <laughs> <laughs> Troy, I really appreciate you showing me around. Hey, thanks, John. Siesta Key Rum, excellent. It's, it's nice to know that we can get a product at our restaurants that's made right in our own backyard. Fabulous. Well, we appreciate your serving it in your restaurants, and we work hard to use as many local products uh, as we can and make it our rum. Well, thanks for coming out, John, again. We appreciate we'll do it. We'll it again. Yep. Thank you. Thank you. We're at the USF Sarasota Manatee's Culinary Innovation Lab, and we're going to take some of the rum we just made and bottled at the Siesta Key Rum Distillery, and we're going to make a delicious rum cake. So you prep your dry and your wet. So you've got your flour, your cornstarch, baking powder, and kosher salt. Alrighty, for the wet, we've got our eggs, whole milk, and it's really important to use Siesta Key rum, canola oil, and lastly, a little bit of vanilla. Let's take that, whisk all those eggs up, just combining all the ingredients together. Alrighty, we're gonna cream the butter and sugar for about three minutes. All right, now we're going to lower the speed. We're gonna add our canola oil gradually. Now we'll add vanilla pudding. Now we're gonna intermittently mix the wet mixture and the flour mixture. More the egg and rum, and we're just about ready to put it in the pan. We're putting in our crushed pecans, and you just fill as much this better will allow. All right, we've got our rum cake ready to go in the oven. The oven's at 325. We're gonna bake it for 50 minutes. We're gonna put it right in the dead center of the oven. We're gonna check it at 40, see how it's going, and that's when we'll fix our rum glaze to go on top. All right, so the butter's melted. We'll put our salt water, and kosher salt's the best, and all the sugar. Now you've gotta stir it constantly for five minutes. So the first thing you do is you melt it all together and then you turn it down to about a medium to medium high. All right, so we've been a minute and we're gonna take the heat off of it, and let it sit while we go get the cake out of the oven. Just flip it over just like that and then you can pull the top off. Now look at that, beautiful. And we take our mixture of rum, sugar and butter and 
we just take about two thirds of it and put it in the bottom of the pan. As that will soak into the cake and then you just drop it right back in. Now you take a fork and you just kind of dig little holes in it. You're gonna pour it right over the top, which is really the bottom of the cake. And you just let it soak all in and then we'll flip it over and we'll have our finished product. So here's our finished product. We wanted to show you how the rum comes from the top and meets in the middle. So there's rum in every bite of the cake. Thanks so much to Siesta Key Rum for supplying the main ingredient. Thanks to the Sarasota Manatee Originals for having us here and to the USF Sarasota Manatee Culinary Innovation Lab. Thanks a lot and enjoy.